And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, happy Thursday to everybody out there. We're going to see some windy conditions, but also some very warm temperatures for today. So you can enjoy the warm temperatures, but that does come at the cost of some gusty winds. Probably at about 15 to 25 miles per hour all throughout the day. We even saw those breezy winds early this morning. Temperatures today topping out in the mid 70s. Got 75 degrees for a high in Amarillo. Could be record setting. Our record high for today is 77. So we're definitely going to flirt with it a little bit. We'll just have to wait and see if we break that. As for tomorrow, not quite as warm, not quite as windy either only in the low to mid 60s, but still a lot of sunshine to go around, staying mostly dry throughout the day. We're going to stay mostly dry through tomorrow night as well, so I don't think you have to take out your umbrella if you have any Friday night plans. But we're going to see a cold front come through late Friday night into early Saturday morning. That's going to bring the chance for some snow showers into the area. You notice the snow doesn't fall all that heavily, which is good news in that we don't see any major impacts with the system. We actually could see a little bit of a changeover into some rain as we get into some warmer parts of the day. And it's not going to be all that long lasting either. You see it's mostly dissipated by about 12 or 1 o'clock. So overall impacts, like I said, not a major winter event. It's not something you have to make your you know milk sandwiches for. But you could see a few flying flakes in Amarillo, maybe a dusting on the ground at best. Same case for Borger, Dumas, Hereford, down toward Clovis, over toward Tucumcari. But where that snow first moves in at about 5 o'clock, that's where the road temperatures will actually be below freezing. So it's a little bit more likely that it could stick to the ground. That's why I've got up to an inch up in Clayton, up in Dalhart, maybe towards Cimarron County as well. So that might be something to keep in mind if you are planning on heading out early Saturday morning. And so that cold front's also going to bring in some very uh, chilly temperatures for your day on Saturday. Highs only in the low to mid 40s, lows maybe in the teens Saturday night. But we'll rebound back closer to average into the low to mid 50s for Sunday and the beginning of and the beginning of next week, but we could be talking about another system moving into the area through the middle and end part of next week, something we're going to definitely keep an eye on and keep you guys updated on as well.